What's going on, everybody? I'm Tank, and this is another episode of Roadie Reactions. In today's reaction, we're going to be checking out the latest music video release from Sabaton, which actually just came out about two and a half hours ago from the time I'm filming this. Also, while I'm sitting down to film this, we're once again live on Twitch. So there's a couple hundred people in chat that are getting to watch me mess this up over and over and over. I think this is take 18 or so, but eventually we'll get through it and we'll get to the actual song. Now, speaking of the song, today... We're going to be getting the story of Sir Adrian Carton DeWire, also known as the Unstoppable Soldier, the Unbreakable Soldier, but most commonly, the Unkillable Soldier. Now, he was Belgian-born, but wound up being one of the most decorated British officers in history, took part in multiple wars, including both world wars, and the reason that he got the name the Unkillable Soldier is because of everything that he went through and wouldn't die. He was shot multiple times, including in the head, in the eye, and he famously wore an eye patch. He escaped from prisoner of war camps. He survived two different plane crashes. I also read a story about how he ripped off one of his own fingers rather than having a doctor amputate it. It's insane, man, but I don't know everything, and I can't wait to watch the Sabaton History episode on this so I can find out more about him because the story seems insane almost unbelievable but it is well documented now the song we're checking out is from sabaton's upcoming album the war to end all wars that's going to release on march 4th 2022 from nuclear blast records pre-orders are still available so if anybody's interested in directly supporting the band i'll throw links in the description below but since i don't know anything else let's just jump into this one man I will link this original music video in the description below, and today, I'm once again listening to Sabaton, and for the very first time, checking out their brand new music video for their song, The Unkillable Soldier. Let's go! Is that... Indy Nidell. Into the fire to trenches. Sure is. Belgium and Ireland with war in his blood. Leading the charge into hostile barrage. I said, you fight for the throne's line. Started law with the first war. Caught in Africa once and more. Back in Europe, then straight to France. Before we get to this chorus here, so that was definitely Indy Nidell. Uh, for anybody that's not familiar, Indy Nidell is the co-host of the Sabaton History Channel with these guys, also known for his series on YouTube about the Great War, and then they also did World War II and stuff like that. And he has been in another Sabaton video as well, if I'm not mistaken. I think it was Seven Pillars of Wisdom, but I can't remember. I'll have to double check. Um, by the way, Tommy looks so good with a stash, dude. He looks... Like, he was born with that thing. I wish he would grow it out and, like, actually rock it, because it's obviously not real. Unless he, like, grew it out for the video, but I doubt it. I'm really liking this sound-wise so far, because I love those galloping rhythms in metal songs. But while this has that distinct Sabaton sound, it sounds a little different from a lot of other stuff that they put out. It, it sounds like a little bit of a departure from their normal sound, and I'm really liking it. Let's see what we get out of this chorus. Fighting and never stops In the rust and rape, passion and 
So that is the chorus. That's an interesting chorus. That's a really interesting chorus. I say that because it's not like a big time hook like we usually hear with Sabaton songs. It's a very quick pace. Very cool though. Very unique. So I'm just going to assume for the rest of this video, this is going to be very similar to the Christmas Truce where we're getting full-blown production. We're probably not going to get any gear shots from the band or any performance shots or anything like that. This is just over the top storytelling and production for video, man. And I don't care if you don't like this band, you can't deny the fact that they go all out and over the top for their productions, man. I mean, this straight up looks like a movie production and the sound quality of everything is great as usual. Um, I would be willing to guess 100% for sure like the previous singles and I'm pretty sure he's working on the whole album. This is produced by Jonas Shelgren, who has worked on a lot of their stuff recently. Very known for being uh, one of the founding members of Scar Symmetry. He's also the current bass player for uh, Rabtir. And his mixes always sound incredible, especially with the Sabaton stuff. Um, since there's really no gear, nothing to talk about, I mean, let's just keep watching. This is a very common Sabaton breakdown. That kick and bass rhythm. Such a good build. All right, before the solo parts, man, dude, this is ridiculous. Like, the video production on this is just insane, man. Like, there are other bands that do this stuff. Like, everybody reminded me, when we checked out the Christmas Truce, I said, there's no other band I could think of that does music video productions like this. And everybody was like, uh, have you never seen Deutschland? And I was like, yes, I have. I just, in the moment, forgot. So we've seen really high-end video productions before, but this is a a very regular thing with Sabaton, man. Music videos are not cheap to film, man. And these guys seem like they just don't care about budget or anything. They just want to put out something good and over the top for their fans. Um, The imagery is wild, how they keep showing him just getting, I mean, basically killed and just not dying. I remember reading, and this could be one of those like internet things that's not true, but I think I remember seeing a quote from... Um, Adrian Carton DeWire, who like in his memoirs said that he enjoyed the wars or enjoyed World War One or something like that. I, that may be internet stuff. I don't know. I, that's a that's a crazy person if they're saying they enjoyed the wars. But I mean, I'll look into it and try and find out. But uh, let's lead into the solo and hear the rest of it, man. God, they look like a band of goons, man. I would not want to see them on a battlefield. <laughs> Oh, this is 
That pickup was so good. Oh! Okay, considering how Sabaton is with history, I don't think they would have put that in there if that wasn't true. So maybe that quote is true. Interesting. I enjoyed that one, man. Uh, let's go talk more about it. So since we're filming live on Twitch, I just started talking to the chat about what I thought about the song and was like, oh wait, I should probably record this for the actual video. Um, I absolutely loved it, man. Where I said the last single, Soldier of Heaven, was kind of a grower for me, this one absolutely isn't. I absolutely 100% love this one first time hearing it. And I think that was partly due to the fact that this was kind of unique. While it did maintain that overall Sabaton sound, you could hear this and immediately know it was them. It did have some parts that were very unique and a little bit of a departure from their normal stuff, especially that chorus. And where I said that it wasn't that big over the top hooky chorus you usually hear from them. I kind of changed my view on that after hearing it a few times. Cause while it isn't that huge chorus we normally hear, it's very hooky, man. I absolutely love this chorus and I know it's going to be stuck in my head for a while. And as always, man, visually, these guys are just phenomenal. I mean, it was a highly entertaining video. That's why I wasn't headbanging until the end is cause I wanted to watch everything that was going on. Just, I'm excited, man. This is a great single release, in my opinion. It's a great sound. It's a great video. And I think that it's going to fire up a lot of people for this album that's going to release next month. So I've already pre-ordered mine. As a reminder to anybody that hasn't, I'll throw links below where you can go pre-order the album that comes out March 4th, 2022. I absolutely loved it. I hope you guys did too. Thank you to everybody on Twitch that sat here and put up with me messing up the intro a million times. This is YouTube. For those of you that are watching on there, I'm not going to cram a bunch of stuff down your throat about liking and subbing. If you want to do either, go for it. I appreciate you for it. I'm also on a ton of different social media. We have a Discord server that a lot of us hang out on all the time. I have a Twitch where I'm streaming right now. So if you're interested in any of that stuff, I'll throw links in the description below. My handle on everything social media is at tank the tech. Thank you so very much once again for watching. I will be back very soon with another episode of Roadie Reactions.